All right, so the Gumshoe title is available to earn today in the Witch Queen's expansion seal. Of course, this is the expansion seal, so you're going to have years to get this done. But if you do want to get it done as fast as possible or want to know how much days or time-gated days you might take, it'll take at least around four days to get every single triumph done if you did not have any progress for the title. But of course, you have to spend long, long hours to get that done if you decide to do that. So uh, good luck with that. But it'll take at least four days in total. So these videos are pretty long as I try to go into a long explanation on how every single triumph is earned just based off the experience of how I got them finished. Of course, I'll try my best to do a short description at the beginning here. Everything will be timestamped in the video so you don't have to look through it. So you can hopefully find that helpful for the most part. But before we start, a little disclaimer on how this triumphs or how this really works is that even though it shows nine triumphs here, there are still sub triumphs and quests that were required to finish these main triumphs. So even though it says nine, there's actually more than nine triumphs to get this title done. So let's go ahead and talk about the short descriptions of everything. So first things first, Throne World Collector is not just collecting everything in the Throne World. It is, but technically there are other triumphs you have to get done in order to get all this stuff so the, the ship the ghost shell the shader emblem and the uh glaive and the parasite all acquired quests and other triumphs to get those done next up we have is the master of truth this is the master version of a campaign mission so just complete one of those lfg it easy uh claim finch's rewards which is his rep system on the throne world you get to rank 30 get that done craft or well spring throne weapons it'll take you at least four days to complete to get the red borders for the weapons and get that easy gun crafting at the relic then we have report reserve alert this is the exotic quest for the glaive of uh, queens and worms this is the exotic quest for the parasite this is finding 10 moss on the map very easy to do i'll probably have a i don't have a video of myself doing these but i'll just have a guide and put that in the description and the comments you'll find it there but these are very easy to find as the game tells you exactly where they are technically. Then we have close all darkness rifts. Like I said, you need the parasite for this gun, for this triumph, I mean, to break up these rifts. Of course, it was videos online, so go ahead and I'll put the link to one I used to find them all. Lastly, we have world champions just getting champion kills in any difficulty of a lost sector on the throne world. So uh, this one might seem like you if these rotate daily so you might miss a day but there is a way to cheese it so don't there's no time gate on this one so we'll go over that when we get there so let's start off with the long descriptions here so throne world collector is not as simple as it seems even though you have to collect everything in here there are still sub triumphs to get this done it's not just these are just random drops these are actually triumphs so the first one here is star jasmine the ship you have to go and complete Warden of the Spring Triumph. If you want to find where that is, you have to go ahead to the Throne World and head to the Wellspring. It is uh, this one right here. You have to go ahead and do the Master version of the Wellspring and defeat each boss. These bosses rotate daily, so this will take you at least four days to complete when, whenever you start. So Master, click on here. Master, and the best to do it is in the LFG. Go to Bungie's website, find a group and just queue in. Of course, it's 1580, which is pretty difficult to do. Um, so make sure you're at a decent power, at least. People usually do 1560 or 1565 for this activity. Attack is harder than defense, so good luck on attack, but you can get through it. Though if you all wipe, you fail, and it resets the activity. So maybe you find a decent group, hopefully. Next up we have is the ghost shell. This one is a bit difficult to explain without showing anything. We go ahead and get the chief investigator triumph. So we we'll head to your throne mode triumphs and you want to head to the world and secrets. This is chief investigator here. And what you need to do is get deduction score. And what that means is that all these triumphs here will give you triumph or total or triumph score or whatever. And you have to make it equal to 350. So uh, this is kind of hard to explain all of these, but I'll try my best. So the first two easy ones to go for is the Moth one and the Rift one, as these are needed for the title anyways. And this will give you 200 in total, so now you only need 150 in total. 
then we have complete a time deep site puzzle this is a uh pretty easy to do once you get to tier three and the finches rank up so we get that done to 25. these are daily you can search up online uh, what this really means but each day there will be a lucent executioner pretty much in a patrol area and there's a deep sight uh, buff you can do and on the floor you'll see a chieftain dead on the floor you can interact with it and it'll do a war uh, season of the hunt uh, green tracking thing if you've played it uh, you can track it and follow that path do it three times on three different days and we get 25 so that's 50 so now you need 300 more or 50 more now then we have this one is open well not wait uh, the math's bad here that's wait hang on my math is bad we have 200 total and this is then it's 250 and 100 more never mind and then open chest i don't know how many this is i think it's probably like 100 chests in total which seems like a lot which is it is but you could pretty much cheese it sometimes you just gotta explore the map and find them all but you should be able to get them done quickly all the chests um this one is difficult to do but you don't need to do it if you do this now this one is two lies and two truths this is a activity if you go to your map and you finish the campaign you're gonna have access to alter reflection and these rotate i think uh weekly i could be wrong so this might might take four weeks but sometimes i bugged out i was able to get two in one week or maybe take three weeks i could be wrong about this i i have, actually have no idea of what happens but this one could be three weeks. I have absolutely no idea. But the thing is, you don't need to do it, technically, um, for the Triumph. But it would make it faster, technically, um, for the Ghost Shell. But I could be completely wrong on this one. It's a bit up in the air, because I don't remember what happened uh, for that Triumph. So it's it's 50-50 on my, my guess here. But... Technically, you could do this one instead, but it's take a lot longer. All you to do is wait in an area, in a patrol area, and pretty much just uh, until it says executioners has entered the area, they'll be glowing white, and then keep killing them until you defeat uh, three guardian hive uh, or hive guardians, I guess, and you'll be able to get the chest at the end. But it's a lot of AFK, and it's kind of like boring, but. I don't know how this works okay i think it's three weeks i think the first one you get done by the story and then the rest you have to wait i could be wrong look it's been a while okay next up for the triumphs for the collection we're gonna get the queen's colors this is from doing the rep the vendor for finch ruinous clash honestly i don't even remember where this is i'm not gonna lie I did try to prep this, but I don't remember where this is from. Ah, there it is. It's a wellspring. So just getting all the guns from the wellspring, which drop randomly from completing the activity. Um, it is, this will take four days, no matter what. So there is that, I guess. I hate the UI. I keep going like, like this. Then we have a higher truth, which is doing the legendary campaign full through. Of course, uh you can do any mission anytime by replaying it so just do it again if you haven't done it it's going to be hard by yourself but it's possible then we have parasite which is just straight up you know get the quest done the exotic quest for the glaive then you have all the open world weapons and then the throw world weapon or uh, wellspring weapons would be open world and then the armor is from the finch rip up system so simple as that Get that done. Hopefully, I try my best to explain it, but it is a bit difficult to explain without showing much. Then we have Master of Truth. This one is, like I've said, it is the mission, campaign missions on mass difficulty. So I'm going to go ahead, hit a directory, and then it should be down here. And these rotate daily, weekly for different missions. And Master's 1580, got LF, I LFG'd this. Um, we went through it. It's kind of difficult, depending on the mission. Like last mission would be difficult for sure. Um, but to unlock campaign master difficulty, you want to go ahead to Finch and get your rep up to at least rank 12, I think, or 13. Um, and you'll get 
this unlocked and that you can do master difficulty. I recommend just LFGing it, but it can be quite difficult if you have if you're not at a high power level for that one. I don't know why I moved back here, but next up we have to go claim all 14 ranks, not 14 ranks, 14 rewards at Finch rep system. So the rep system is pretty interesting. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, my rep right now is at a uh, 53 and to claim every single reward here. And this is getting to rank 30 in total and doing pretty much anything in the throne world will get you a rep. So basically a thousand to rank up uh any chess you open up any patrol you do any high value target any public event replaying campaign missions doing the altars doing the bounties banners of repeatable bounties anything you do really is to rank up to get faster the fast way to get it is usually just opening up the tier three chess once you get to rank i think 13 or 14 whatever it is um then you can unlock these chests but if you'll be grinding Wellspring, you're going to get that rep up anyways. So, uh, you know, up to you of what you want to do. But uh, just keep playing the game. 30 seems like a lot. But if you'll be grinding for a lot of stuff, uh, it shouldn't be that that bad. The moths give you 250 each. So, and regional regional chests as well give you 250. So, there's nine regional chests in total. That's two rank ups there. And there's 10 moths in total. They give you 250 each. So, that's a lot of, that's like another, you know decent uh, that's two more ranks right there so good on that so next up we're gonna get the hardware of the throne this will take you at least four days to do and what this one what this wants you to do is craft all the wellspring weapons and throne world weapons now if you've been following along with the wellspring it's not the drop rate on these weapons are pretty bad but most recent update to them made it where they have bad luck prevention so you want to go ahead and check what weapon is dropping right now is the auto rifle and you're going to have a chance to get a red border now the auto rifle and the great launcher you need two patterns for it while the bow and the sniper rifle you're going to need at least three patterns to drop to get this unlocked once you unlock this pattern then you can go ahead and craft it at the relic which is gonna be quite expensive so you gonna go ahead and farm these other you know other weapons of deep sight any weapon can drop of a red border but some weapons require patterns and once you claim it you get 200 neutral element which you're gonna need to use at least like 2,000 or 3,000 to craft it right so the way to farm these is really just play like any activity and just have like all three equipped <laughs> Of red borders they play crucible if you suck at it sure but you get like 30 percent or do psyops it doesn't really matter get it done um farm the neutral element and then once you get all nine of those then you get them done for the most part so it, it is difficult um it might take a lot of time for me i got very lucky with my borders so it's just i don't know i just gotta get lucky with this one but yeah you gotta get farm wellspring a lot master difficulty doesn't seem helpful so just farm the normal version is just faster and better and easier when it comes to that. Next, we have Report Reverse Lure. So this one is a multi-quest step one at the evidence board. Now, I can't really show the evidence board because I've done it already. But all it really wants you to do is do all the reports before it, basically. And once you do that, then you go ahead and do the exotic glaive. The hardest quest is going to be relic data which wants you to pretty much uh craft the auto rifle and the grenade launcher so you have to get the red borders for the weapons of course like i said it's a bit better now but like you don't have to worry about it if you're going to get the you need them anyways for the triumph so i wouldn't worry about it too much uh to focus on that just you know play well spring get them done uh for the most part but yeah the, well, the evidence board is over here and you should be able to interact with it there's other quests there too some of them require uh progress for other quests for example one of them's a side quest for finch but you should be able to get that done pretty easily um, other than that uh the glaive quest is very easy once you get it and there should be no other time gate with it only only hard one is relic data 
And all I could do after you get the the auto rifle and the green launcher done for crafting, uh, the next step is uh, to pretty much uh, give a weapon a enhanced perk with an ascendant alloy. If you were to have a gun or the the uh, legendary glaive you got from the story that forced you to do it, you can just go ahead and just pretty much reshape it without any cost so here we have the callus for the submachine gun and if you ha it has an enhanced perk already so we can just reshape it and it should give us it but if not you can go to rahul and buy an ascendant alloy for 400 legendary shards and then just give it to a weapon that you like but of course you gotta remember that to get an enhanced perk on a weapon you have to go ahead and craft it first and you have to go ahead and level it up a quite a bit to, in order to get it and give it an enhanced perk. But you should be able to do it for free if you have one already on a gun that you've gotten it for. So just reshape it for free and you're good to go. This is this is not hard to explain, but Queens of Worms, whatever it's called, it's a parasite. There's nothing to explain here. You get the quest after the post after post campaign. Um, so just do it. Um, there's not much to explain here. Um, if this is like the quest that you get and you have to do the, all the lost sectors and all that stuff and a special quest at the end. So it's pretty easy to do. Nothing to worry about. Next we have Lucent Mobs. Lucent Mobs is not hard to do. I can I can put a guide. I, ne I didn't use any guide to look for these mobs except for a couple of them. Um, but for the most part, you can just go to the cave and it'll tell you the location. There's no time get on this. You can get them all today if you decide to do it. Uh, they were only time gated for five weeks because i mean why not i guess but uh yeah so this is very easy to do go so you head to the cave head inside there'll be a bunch of maps on each pedestal pedestal and uh you're able to see the locations a general location of where they are um but they're very easy to find most of the time they could be just in just the open area or they could be using the deep site uh resonance buff but might be a oh, deep sight buff but i don't know if it requires tier 3 because i never i already have i had tier 3 for a long time so i'm not sure that maybe that's why but other than that go ahead to the cave look at the floor and you can find them there the only ones i can really tell you there is one in the wellspring area map uh, there is one in the altar reflection in the combat area there should be a deep sight buff there and that's pretty much it for the most part um they're pretty much everywhere you could think of so look around it's more fun to find them but if you want a guide i'll probably post one that might be useful i don't know then we have no peeking similar to the moth one but this one you need to go ahead and have the parasite exotic grenade launcher and what you need to do to break these rifts you have to go ahead and shoot the floor with the parasite gun not to kill yourself of course uh, but once you have it, you know, you're going to have to buff and then switch to a different weapon and then shoot the rifts. I'll just post a guide. I don't, I use a guide to find them all. Um, there's only one that's in Wellspring, but you can cheese it and shoot it from below. But I don't know what the proper way to do that one. I'm going to be honest with you. There is one in the altar reflection as well. So you could find it in here as well, well, well. Lastly, we're going to have is the, I don't know, where, where am I going? The champion kills. The champion kills. This one technically can be time gated, but apparently there's a cheese that's been, it's always been around in the game for a long time. Um, but you have to kill 50 champions in total. So champions um, and lost sectors. The lost sectors rotate daily. And so you can find a website that will tell you exactly where they are. And it's always on the same rotation. So you can plan your days out and farm that one lost sector over and over again. Most most of the time, the lost sectors have four champions per pretty much per 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 clear. So you're gonna do at least you know 13 clears to get it done on that triumph. But of course, you don't have to wait for that. Apparently, this has been a normal thing. But if you do any of these, uh, what do you call it? Any of these uh, missions here, it will spawn a champion in the Lost Sector as well if you head there. But it depends on the mission, of course. Not every mission will start you in a patrol area. But I'm not sure about this one. But the first one won't let you do this for sure. Because you're not being in a patrol area, I think. But 
I wouldn't recommend doing it in a matchmaking because people will understand what you're doing. But if you're doing legend, then you can do it. Um, just launch it and you'll be in a party by yourself. Unless you have a party of friends and do it in a hero as it'd be easier as enemies would be weaker. But you can go ahead and these will guys these uh these last sectors will now have champions in them when you go ahead and head into them. So let me show you guys, I guess, a brief of what if it's true or not. I know it is true, but if you're just curious to see yourself. Um that's pretty much all the triumphs. I don't think I missed anything, but I might not explain them for the my best ability i guess i could say oh boy this is that is not right okay so we right into the last sector and miasma here and there should be champions at the beginning here um you just gotta have to farm it for the most part go in and out in and out in and out um and just keep killing champions until you get to 50. It sounds pretty boring, or you can just farm it when it's available, but if it's not available, then you have to do this if you want to get it done quickly. But up to you. Uh, like I said, there's no rush to getting this done, but... Let's see. Um, let me see here. Is there a champion in here? Mm. Hard to say. I have not done this one in particular for sectors. So I don't know where they spawn. So it just had a champion appeared uh, somewhere. Uh, yep, there it is right there. So yeah, champions do spawn um, in lost sectors. Just gotta go ahead and just do that. And you, get a, you should count towards the triumph and all that good stuff. But I'm not prepared to do these, so no thanks. But there you go. I think that's pretty much my best I can do. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could do better. But every time I do this, um, but. This is this is it <laughs> for the most part. The only hard one is the ghost. I I still don't know if that's completely. I don't know if that's time get it for three weeks. It's hard to tell. You don't have to do that one. Like that's the thing about it. Like it, there's ways to get around it, but other ways are sh much slower if you decide to do that. You know, so hard to say. Um, but uh, hopefully this helped maybe a little bit. I don't know, but. It's a lot of work to decide to do it in four days. So I say good luck with that.